So science is now proving what ancient wisdom has said for a very long time. You can not only heal your life, you can create businesses and manifest anything that you truly desire, relationships, love, money, anything. All starting with books like You Are The Placebo by Joe Dispenza, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Joe Dispenza. But the most important one that I'm gonna be explaining in this video is The Biology of Beliefs, Biology of Belief by Bruce Lipton. And the key points that you can understand in order to change your life today. And the main point I'm gonna focus on in this video is the fact that your environment is everything. But something that trumps your environment is actually your perception on the environment which controls how you live right here, right now. Whether you're happy, whether you're sad, whether you're wealthy, whether you're poor, you're healthy, whether you're in disease. It doesn't matter where you are, it's all based on your perception of the environment, but your environment still does have a factor in it as well. So in this video, I'm also gonna talk about three of my favorite people and how you can utilize their understandings in order to change and make those changes long-term and permanently. And the first study I'm gonna go with is by Dr. Bruce Lipton, the author of Biology of Belief. He's got many other books as well, but this is one of my favorite books to do with his scientific research on how the environment is really the most important thing around us. And he effectively used a study based on stem cells. Now, I'm not a stem cell or cellular biologist. He is, and I'm going with his study, his research, and this is why I'm hopefully giving my ability to share this with people so that you know that it's not just possible, but it can easily happen if you allow it to happen. So the way that Bruce Lipton did his research, he took one single cell. Now cells divide every four to eight hours. So effectively one leads to two, two leads to four, four leads to eight, etc., etc. It just keeps dividing and doubling. By the end of the week, Bruce Lipton had 30,000 stem cells, 30,000 all identical because they came from the same cell. It's not like there was a mother and a father and it created um, the cell. It was from one cell and it just divided and created identical cells. Now the interesting thing was he had these 30,000 cells in a petri dish and he put one third of them in one petri dish, one third in another and one third in another. So there was three separate petri dishes, all with slightly different environments. And the interesting thing, what happened was each set of cells turned dif into different types of cells based on the environment they were in. One set of cells in the first petri dish turned into muscle cells, one turned into bone cells, and one turned into fat cells. So even though the cell was the same at the start, it can change based on the environment. So then we, as human beings, have a consciousness. And then this is where Joe Dispenza's work comes into play because he took some studies and said, is it only the environment? There could be two people that are open to the exact same carcinogen. One gets cancer at age 50, the other one doesn't. So what's the difference? Is it only the environment that has a change? So the philosophy I'm going with here is because cells don't have a nervous system and a brain, they are not able to perceive the environment differently. They, are, they get what they are given effectively. Whereas we, human beings, we have a consciousness, we have a brain, we have a nervous system. We have the ability to perceive something completely different. But what Dr. Joe came to understand was the power of the perception of the environment. One person or two people can be open to the exact same carcinogen. One can get a disease, the other one does not. The environment was exactly the same. What was the difference? The difference was their perception on the environment. The people that always go through awful things and they're like, life sucks, my life's awful, blah, blah, all this, all that. And then the people that are extremely positive, that have been through stuff, that then feel, okay, yeah, my life was tough, but now my life's amazing, man, I love life. It's based on your perception of the environment because what happens isn't always the truth. For example, I could go up to someone, I could punch them in the face. No, I'm not gonna do this. I could go and do that and punch someone. Someone could look at me and go, you're awful, why would you do such a thing? But then I could have heard that they were attacking children or attacking women. I personally think it would be my duty to go and put a stop to that. And if I had to use brute force, then I would. But obviously I'm gonna refrain from it as much as possible. So was the situation of me punching someone good or bad? Some people are gonna say good, some people are gonna say bad. Other people are gonna go, well, someone did something bad, they got their karma, it sort of cancels it out. There's not necessarily one right answer to it. And there never, there never is gonna be one right answer. But how we perceive it is the most important thing. 
All the stuff I went through in my past is based on a perception of how I felt, of what I went through. I personally see everything I've been through as a positive, even though so many of them were not positive in the slightest. So how can we make that change? How can we heal, grow, manifest, create? And this is where I want to bring in Tony Robbins' philosophy of creating community. You have now heard that Bruce Lipton's study, scientific study, has caused the ability of cells to change based on the environment. You have now also heard of Joe Dispenza's studies, when someone perceives the environment slightly differently, they get different outcomes. So our thoughts can change even if the environment isn't the greatest. But I always say, why not give yourself the most chance of healing, of manifesting, of growing, and actually putting the right environment with the right perception, which will give you the easiest outcome, period. It's going to give you the easy easiest outcome. It's like following a map, the blue line on a map when you put it in your phone. You follow that line, you're going to get to your destination. It doesn't mean there's going to be clear roads all the time, but you will get to your destination. And that is why I created the Quantum Coherence Zoom sessions in order to create that level of coherence around us. Because we meet up on a weekly basis at 9 p.m. GMT, so just convert that into your time zone, every single Monday, and we make these healings happen, and we create that community environment so that we can not just heal, but also grow and create that which we want. I say this, and I'm adamant about this, I am not the healer. I'm creating the community for the community to heal one another. That is why I'm doing this. I'm so passionate about you healing, growing, learning, making more money, being happier, finding the relationships that you desire, being around like-minded people. If you can allow yourself into this space, you can not just see massive change, but you can create massive change. And the work that happens in the group will also resonate outside in your, uh, in your relationships, in your family, with your work. All these things that are going on anyway will be affected when you start to change. Because when you turn up, they'll be going, What's, what have you been doing different? Is it something with your hair? You, you, you seem different. The goal is to change. The goal is to be different. We don't want to stay the same, and that's why I created this group. So if you want to join this group, book in a call with me below or head over to my website, book in a call so that we can make these changes. Because if you book in a call, you can join the group and we can connect you with like-minded people that are making shifts. Science is proving it now. Ancient wisdom said it for years. I'm putting it into action here today. If you're struggling right now, this is perfect because you don't even have to leave the house in order to let this happen. We don't have to be in the vicinity of each other. Long term, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna be creating this into a program where we can all come together. But right now I'm utilizing the resources that I already have, that we all have at our disposal, which is a computer, which is Zoom, and I'm making these shifts happen. So I look forward to seeing you there, booking a call with me, and allow yourself to make these changes. And also, subscribe.